It took five months of negotiations, several emergency meetings, numerous proposals, counter-proposals, and the longest EU summit on record. But now it's official. Greece has a deal. It was a good night for Europe and a good day. For more than 17 hours, Eurozone leaders fought tooth and nail over the details. What finally emerged was a three-year rescue plan worth up to 86 billion euros, more than Alexis Tsipras had asked for. But the deal comes at a high price for him, a draconian package of austerity measures, reforming the pension system, broadening the tax base, privatizations and spending cuts. All measures Greek voters rejected in a referendum merely a week ago. The decision gives Greece a chance to get back on the track on track with the support of European partners. It also avoids the social, economic and political consequences that a negative outcome would have brought. I welcome the progress and the constructive position of Greece that helps to bring back trust among Eurozone partners. A deal on the table. But Greece's capitulation to most of its creditors' demands has also met harsh criticism. Several EU officials attacked the toughness of the new bailout terms. In Athens, Cyprus's government coalition partners, the independent Greeks, tweeted, we've reached our limits, they want to crush us, no more, we've had enough. The talks also drove a wedge between the leaders of France and Germany. François Hollande wanted fewer Angela Merkel, more commitments from the Greeks and the German leader ultimately had the upper hand. We've found ways that follow what I have always said. On the one hand, solidarity by the member states. On the other hand, responsibility and ownership by the affected country. We succeeded even though the most important currency, that of trust and reliability, has been lost in the past weeks. Die, nämlich das Vertrauen und der sich aufeinander verlassen können, doch äh, schwer erschüttert worden ist. Eurozone leaders now want Athens to prove that it can follow through. Politicians there have only 48 hours to do so. By Wednesday, several of the reforms need to be approved by the parliament. That could be the last instalment of the Greek drama.